Failing to take your child's opinion into action is one of the mistakes that parents do and one of the mistakes that will ruin your child's growth and affect it. Hi guys, welcome back again. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome big. If you're returning subscriber, welcome back again and thank you so much for coming back because we don't take this for granted. We do appreciate it a million. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. This is where we talk about parenting. This is where you join our YouTube channel to learn and so that we can also learn from you, from your feedback, from your comments. Guys, my name is Achiong Opeo and I am happy to be here today. Today, we are going to talk about those things that you do that will end up ruining or affecting your child's growth okay i have four points only four points like this just four and um, i want us to discuss them one after another so are you consistent are you giving your children healthy meals today and tomorrow you are giving them gmo or you are giving them fast foods are you telling your child sweets, biscuits, and um, sugary foods are not healthy for their teeth, but you end up buying them when they want, when they are crying and throwing ten tantrums in the supermarkets and malls? One of the things that you have to do as a parent is to really stand your ground and be very consistent. Such that when you have told your child that we cannot do this because it is bad for your health, you don't do it. You remain consistent and ensure that that has been taken into account for as long as it can be done. Because if you are not consistent, guys, you are going to mess it. You are going to ruin. You are going to affect your child's growth. Okay? If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please consider doing it. Okay? Uh, be kind enough, enough to click the notification bell so that every time we post a video, it go, you get the notification and you can be the first one to watch. Who doesn't want to be number one? Uh, I always want to be number one. And that's, that has always been my thing. I'm fighting to be number one every where that aside guys there are those special moments in your child that when you miss out you affect them most of the times your child tells you that tomorrow the teacher is requesting for parents to be there to watch us as we play games or perform something it's not very common but it happens when you miss out on such things guys it becomes so complicated and your child starts thinking am i important you know they start getting uh, ideas into their heads so those are things that you as a parent has to look into i know there are times that we are even called to go look look at our children's performance we go we need to go see their um, assessments we talk to the teachers, we know their weaknesses, their strengths, we know where we can encourage them, but then you fail. Guess what? When I don't go, when I fail to go, another parent comes. What does that kid, this child of mine thinks? She thinks she's not loved. Why is my mom never here? My mom too busy to even attend my special moments. So we are trying to avoid such things. And we are really trying not to affect the growth or ruin the growth of our children. And by attending those special moments, we will be, we will be encouraging them and making their growth lined up. And, you know, we've said there's no perfection, but we're trying our very best and making sure that we make it better for them. Okay? My next point today is scolding our children all over too often as in wewe the only thing you can see in your child is a mistake you can never see anything good in your child 
aki that is really bad it is really wrong and it is really going to mess your child's growth when your child gives you does something even when the thing is not positive find a way to give them alternatives that will make them think positively of them because they that you know children they are not wrong all the time and when you take your time and listen carefully and give you know uh, give good thoughts to their opinions i mean to to what they do or what they think you will never go wrong you will see that all is going to work so my last point today is taking your child's opinion into action your child has an opinion they have ideas they have thoughts but you do what you trash them you scrap them off you are like ah you don't want, you know no you can't if you do that it won't even work with them it's going to spoil for them it's going to mess them it's going to affect their growth guys if you have not subscribed to our youtube channel please consider doing so thank you for everyone who has subscribed because you are a gem and we appreciate you you're very valuable for everyone who is yet to subscribe to our youtube channel guys um come one come all tell a friend to tell a friend if you like our content share with a friend share with people who you think can learn from us because we are giving a message that i suppose every parent would like to listen to thank you so much for listening and watching this episode until next time guys bye and feel appreciated loved and also cared for see you